Hello my bomb beauties. So today's video is a little bit different. I've only done one other video like this, but it's what's in my mailbox. I didn't get a whole lot or anything, but because I do have a YouTube channel and a blog, companies send me things and I can try them or I cannot. I can tell you guys about them or I cannot. Um, but I really like this because it kind of opens the door to companies and to products that I've never heard of, I've never tried before, and it helps me find things that are awesome and let you guys know about them, and that's why I really like this. So I don't have a lot, like I said, I have a couple beauty products, a couple of mommy products, but at the very end of the video I do have a little giveaway for one of my wonderful subscribers. Um, it's a small giveaway, but it's just a way that I feel like I can, I don't know, give back to you guys. You guys are so awesome. I love the welcoming and the warmth that I've gotten um, for the past couple videos as I've kind of come back to YouTube. Um, I have been pretty amazed at all your comments and all your um, encouragement and your likes on my videos. That's so sweet. So. I am gonna have a giveaway, so just stay tuned till the very end. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So some of these products I have tried already. There's only one that I haven't tried, um, so I don't really have much to say about it. I mean, I tried it one time, I tried it today, but I don't really have much to say about it. But the ones that I have tried, I'll kind of tell you my opinion. So it's gonna be like a mini little review on the products. Um, but it's 100% my opinion, don't worry you guys. I'm gonna be honest. So first off is one of the products I have tried and I love. This is the, um, I don't know if I can even, okay, Gardner's Hand Healer Hand Lotion. So this is what it looks like. It kind of reminds me of like a camping product, like a manly, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, uh, the packaging is really not girly at all. But um, I'll tell you kind of what it says. It says, the rich emollient cream blends 20% of the finest gray shea butter with seven carefully selected beneficial botanicals. The intense formula contributes to restore moisture to the skin and to protect active, chapped, and cracked hands like an invisible glove to leave them soft and smooth. So some of the, it says the original gardener's hand healer recipe, and then it gives you like what's in there. So it says shea butter, which is for healing and protecting, um, mimosa, which restores moisture to the skin, Verbe verbena, which is revitalizing, um, chamomile, which is soothing, marshmallow, which is calming, interesting, I didn't know marshmallows in here, um, calendula, which is softening, lemon balm, which is softening, and rosemary, um, which is an antioxidant and protective. So I actually have been using this for a long time time now and let me show you what it looks like this is what it looks like so it doesn't have like any like exciting packaging so it kind of at first it threw me off I w didn't really try it but this stuff is awesome I have the most wrinkly dry hands ever and honestly like I do my nails I'm like why do I even do my nails my hands are just gross but this has it seriously like changed my hand life. Like I absolutely love it. It is so softening. Like seriously, every single morning I put this on and I put it on like twice. I put it like in the morning, in the afternoon. I love this stuff. It's remarkably thin, but it's so moisturizing, so softening for how thin it is. You know what I mean? Like I would expect it to be um, thick, but it's not at all. And one of my favorite things, which some of you may like and some of you may not like is that it smells like lemons you guys it smells like lemons it smells so good it doesn't smell like Lysol but it's like like lemons like if you go outside to a lemon tree you take a lemon and you smell it that's what it smells like it smells so good I love the smell of lemon but it's nothing that like it's nothing that you're just gonna be smelling throughout the day, but it, you can definitely smell it when you're putting it on. So I really, really like this, but, so I got this. Next kind of going on with the um, nail or hand trend. So I got these glass nail files. 
so I haven't tried the bigger one yet. So these are from the Mont Blue, I believe, Mont Blue Company, and they are glass um, nail files. Guys, glass nail files are awesome. I haven't tried their big one yet, but I definitely have been, have been using their smaller one. And these are awesome because, so here's what they look like. I'll just show you. So they come in little sleeves like this, and then they're bedazzled. It's awesome. And then this is what they look like. So the reason I like these, now I have been trying these. The reason I like these is because first off, they can be a lot better on your nails. And two, they work really quickly. So you can kind of use the this motion rather than this because it's actually doing stuff. So it's better for your nails and it lasts a whole heck of a lot longer. I always go through nail files, you know, those regular wood ones or whatever they're called. But these are really nice because they will last you a long time, you guys. And so they're all bedazzled. They all come in their little sleeve. I love these. You guys, if you haven't tried a glass nail file, you need to try them. Like seriously, I love them so much. And it just helps get my shape quickly and it makes it even it doesn't like your okay little lesson went to cosmetology school okay little lesson you're not supposed to do this because it's rough and it can kind of break the tips of your nails it's just it's not good so you're supposed to use this motion well glass nail files help with that because they work so well that you don't have to do this to get the result quickly you go like this a couple times and the result is there so I feel like it helps you, because it works so well, it helps you to not file your nails the wrong way. Do you know, do you get what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm even explaining that right, but I've really been liking these. I will have a promo code in the bottom, a website in the bottom, help get you guys 20% off if you do want to try these ones. Um, I don't know where else you can get glass nail files. Maybe at the drugstore. I'm not sure. I've never really seen them. So these are really, really, really awesome. So, I, so this is the last beauty product I have to share with you guys. And then I have some mommy stuff. Um, but this is the Skin & Co. Roma Truffle Therapy Boosting Anti-Aging Aging Serum. So this is what it looks like. Fancy, fancy packaging. Um, I'll read to you what it says on the box. It says... Um, Formulated around the undiscovered properties of truffle, truffle therapy serum is infused with a potent uh, skin renewing ingredient. Carefully handcrafted in Umbria, it restores skin with undetected, radi undetected radiance. Fine lines start fading, roughness is surrendered, silky smoothness is immediately revealed, and skin looks firmer and brighter, creating a healthy, youthful looking complexion. So, this is pretty cool. Let me read to you what else it says. It says, Every morning before the sun shines, golden rays on our farm in Umbria, truffle farmers and their specialized trained dogs start the process to unearth one of the world's most prized ingredients, truffles. Many of them will be ex extracted and will eventually make it into the truffle therapy, but only those rich in nutrients and antioxidants. The pro a process that takes more than 1,000 hours, favorable weather, moon cycles, and lots of passion is our secret to centennial beauty. Um, so that, I thought that story, that story was kind of interesting, but anyway, so this is what the box looks like, and then it has the product inside. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's really, really fancy glass bottle, um, and yeah, I tried it today. So you're supposed to put this on and then put your moisturizer on and then put your makeup on on top of it. Like you can wear this during the day. And I only tried it today, so I can't tell you guys, but I feel like my foundation went on a lot smoother over top of it. I feel like my skin, especially like right here where it just looks rougher, just looks a lot like even close up in a mirror, it looks really smooth. So I haven't tried this enough to let you guys know. I'll probably do a review on this and let you guys know because I love skin serum, especially because my skin is so um, dry right now from all the hormones and I feel like foundation just looks cakey and 
doesn't look natural, it looks rough over top. Today it doesn't. So, you know, I think it could be this, but I'm going to keep trying it and I'll let you guys know. But, um, so this is what it is. It has a little pump. And what surprised me about this is, um, kind of the, the, the texture and the smell. I'm not sure. It reminds me of Shea butter, but I'm not sure what the smell is. It's kind of like a mixed, not flowery, but it's a pleasant smell. It's not overpowering. Um, but it, it's very, very thin thin and like when I put it on my face and it dries I can feel my face like feel firm like I feel like it's like it's you know like <laughs> like I feel like my skin like firms up so that's kind of it was it was interesting um I didn't exactly use it the way you're supposed to I put this on I put moisturizer on and then I put this on so you're supposed to put this on then moisturizer on then your makeup so I'm gonna try it that way and see um tomorrow see how it works that way but I definitely noticed like it like firmed up my face like I felt wrinkle free you know okay so that was that Next, the last three before we get to this fun little giveaway is um they're mommy products so if you don't like care to know about these I'll just put somewhere around here where you can kind of skip this over um but as you guys know I had my baby um he's hanging out over there but there was like a couple of things that with my three boys like with my first two that I didn't try and I didn't get and now I'm trying them and I have them and I wish that I would have had these with my first son so as you guys know, I live in Arizona. It's super hot here. Um, when they're infants, they can't really regulate their temperature. So it's important to have them swaddled. Um, but because it's so hot in Arizona, although we have the AC on, it always makes me nervous to swaddle them with, um, I used to use receiving blankets. If you know what those are, those are smaller and they're a little bit thicker. Instead of a swaddle blanket. I didn't even know that swaddle blankets existed, guys. And now that I'm have them and then I'm using them I wish I would have had them for the first two so honestly like seriously so this is what I got the swaddle muslin muslin swaddle blankets you've probably heard of them this is from blissful baby um, from Amazon and so if you have Amazon Prime it's awesome um, so what I like about these so this is how the packaging kind of comes there's four that come in here um, they have this is what it looks like. So they have like a plain yellow one. They have one with little giraffes. There's one with little monkeys. And then there's one that's actually in the wash right now that's just brown. And so these are muslin swaddle blankets. So I'll show you kind of, first off, they're super thin. Second off, these things are huge. They'll probably reach from my neck down to my knees and I'm 5'6". So these are huge and they're thin, but they're not like see-through thin. So this is the reason that I like these. First off, they're big enough that you can swaddle your baby all the way up to three months to when they tend to not want to be swaddled. So I noticed that receiving blankets, I could use them for the first couple weeks, but it was still hard to keep them swaddled because he, they're so small that trying to make them tight and swaddled, it was just difficult for me. Two, you had a receiving blanket to swaddle him in, but then if you want a nurse and you have friends over, you have to get a total different blanket or get like a nursing cover. These are big enough that you can nurse comfortably, like he could be pulling and yanking and like moving around and it still won't fall off because you have so much excess hanging on your other side of your shoulder. So I really like that. And um, they're thin enough also, so when you're nursing, they're not sweating under there. With my first son, I felt so bad. I would bring the nursing cover and I would nurse him, but he will, I could feel him sweating under there. And I was sweating because it was hot, but I have to have him covered, obviously. So I like that these are thin because they're and breathable and they're big enough. And I'll just read what the packaging says in the back, what they can be used for. So nursing cover, sun shield on a stroller, a play mat, a bedtime blanket, and it says more. I love these, like seriously guys. Um, I had been looking and buying buying these whenever I heard about these. I think I was at a baby shower and my friend got these and everyone was explaining why these were awesome. I was like, how come I haven't heard 
heard these for my first two kids. The same Blissful Baby also sends me um, burp cloth, burping cloths, um, but they're kind of that same, they feel like that same thin material. And so there's two yellow ones. There's one with a little, what are these, little duckies. And then there's one here with like music notes and like little horses. But these burp cloths are awesome because they're so big. You guys, sometimes burp cloths are not big enough and I feel like they get dirty fast and I feel like sometimes, you know, when they just throw up, they don't get on the burp cloth, they get on you. So these are pretty big and again, that same thin material and I just find that these are just great. I mean, I don't have to worry about getting anything on my shirt at all. I'll probably talk to you guys more about all this stuff kind of on my mommy channel. I'm going to do like a newborn essentials video pretty soon. But then she sent me these two and these are pretty cool. I've never tried these. These are the Blissful Baby Bandana Bibs. So <laughs> they're like little bandanas and <laughs> these are so cute. So I like using bibs for when they're teething. So. When they're teething, they're drooling like crazy monkeys. My one-year-old is teething right now. And these are just cute, you guys. If you're going to get bibs, why not get cute ones? Little bandana, especially if you have little boys. So this one has like a little cow. So it's just like a little it's a little bandana. And it's a, bur um, a, what's it called? A bib. So these are really cute. So they're just like regular bibs. These feel really nice and thick which I like. I know some, I used to get bibs from Walmart and they just felt so thin. Um, but these are nice and thick and kind of have that towel material in the back. So it's going to keep their shirts nice and dry. This is a very small giveaway, you guys. I'm in no means trying to like do something super extravagant, something super um, like show offy or anything like that. This is just kind of just something really nice that first off the companies did for me and for you guys and then one of my favorites kind of talking about nail polish and hands and stuff like that so i absolutely have like a huge nail polish collection of a nail polish theme and um i recently if you saw my haul my drugstore slash ulta haul i tried this wet and wild one step nail polish which is at the drugstore but mint is my favorite favorite color. So I wanted to give one of you guys um, a nail polish. Let this, my favorite nail polish. Actually, when I, I told you guys when I did the first impressions that I wasn't too sure. I did three coats with this one and I felt like I needed a top coat, which I still feel like it needs a top coat, but it needs a top coat to be shiny, not to last. I had the same nail polish on since I filmed that video. It's been I filmed that video on Saturday, so it's been Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, four days. I've been cleaning, I've been dealing with kids, dogs, and my nail polish still looks good. Like maybe the very tip is starting to chip, but usually nail polish looks like it's like half chipped off my nails by now. So I'm super impressed with the staying power of this line, this formula. It's the One Step Wonder Gel, and I am in love with this particular color. So I wanted to give one of you guys a little kind of hand slash nail kit. And so this is one of the things that is going to be in there. Um, the next thing is, of course, this life-changing hand cream that looks very manly but smells very lemony <laughs> but um it's a hand cream for one of you guys and i seriously like i'm not just saying that because they sent this to me like i've tried several hand creams and my hands like there's i haven't found it this is the first hand cream that actually like there's a reason for me putting it on. Sometimes I feel like, why am I even putting on hand cream? It's not even doing anything. Well, I really do like this one and I have it on my vanity for whenever I get ready. Um, right before I start filming a video, I always put some hand cream on and I'm serious. I really like this stuff. So one of you guys are going to get to try this. And then the last thing I'm including in the little nail hand kit 
little package, is some of these nail files. So there's three nail files in there. I feel, like I said before, I have tried these and I have liked, obviously not the package you guys are getting, you guys are getting new ones, but I have tried these and they should last you guys a long time. They're, again, they're a lot better for your nails and there's three different sizes. So there's a big one, you're gonna get a little tiny one and then one of the medium ones and they all come in their own little sleeve and they're all bedazzled on the top. See? So that's what you guys are gonna get um, in your little kit. So giveaway is super, super easy, you guys. All you have to do is you have to be subscribed to my channel and just comment down below. That's it. So just subscribe and comment down below and tell me what your favorite nail polish is. So the nail polish brand and the color is because I'm on the hunt for more nail polish. So just subscribe and comment down below what your favorite nail polish, color and nail polish is. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna keep this up for only a week, you guys. So you have until next week i'll put details down below and dates down below and i'll put on the video closed for whenever the giveaway is closed but i will be contacting you i'll be messaging you guys here on youtube so make sure that you get a message from me and when you click on my picture it's me and i'll be messaging you guys um for whoever the winner is and so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys will go check out my other mailbox video if you want to see the other things that I've gotten before. Um, and yeah, also, what do you think about this lighting? I have been kind of working on lighting and trying to figure out where you guys can see me the best where it's bright enough. Some of the videos, it was kind of wonky, like it'd be bright in the beginning and then it'd get dark. And so let me know what you guys think about it. And if you want to see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, I won't do another mailbox unboxing video. All right, so don't forget, beauty comes from within. So let your shine and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.